Alrighty, now, I want to know if this law is really going to go through. I read the article, I'm a little bit confused on whether it's going to actually happen, just an idea, I mean what? Because I'm in favor for it, because I think that's fair. You shouldn't marry somebody and then divorce them just because uh, 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 you wake up in the morning and say, you know, I don't love you no more, I, I want a divorce. All for your own personal gain. Nobody's stupid. We know what's going on. You could try to say, well, I was there for him. He didn't do this. Or I thought this. You could say whatever it is that you want to say. You're wasting your time, energy, and breath. No fault divorce was stupid as hell. Because it only benefits the woman. Because even if a man wake up the next day and say, you know what, I don't, I'm not happy, I don't want to marry her, I don't want to be married to her no more, excuse me, he's still going to have to come off half or whatever. So, it only benefits women. So, I think, yeah, this is true. If you want to get married, fine, go ahead. But, I got to agree. You can't just come out and say, hey, no fault divorce uh, uh, just because you don't want to be married no more. It makes no sense. It doesn't. It only benefits the woman. It don't really benefit the kids. Because now you breaking up the home just for whatever your personal reasons may be. Some for money, some for fame, some for just a little bit of clout, uh, whatever. So, it just, uh, look, at the end of the day, it should be like my grandpa and grandma back in the day. My grandpa, my grandfather was horrible to my grandmother. He was. He was abusive in all shapes and forms to my grandmother. And she stayed with him until he passed. He passed, I think I was like eight years old or something, somewhere around there when he passed. She never got remarried. She never did anything, did nothing. She was a very religious woman. And she just died, I wanna say like 2021, I think it was. But yeah. So my my whole ordeal is this. Situations like that, yeah, she would have a, a reason to divorce. But y'all women these days, just because y'all not happy no more, like a marriage is supposed to always be happy. Nobody's always happy. No relationship on this earth is 100% of the time happy. Not one. You can't name me one relationship where you're always 100% of the time happy. Maybe majority of the time, yes. Maybe. But all the time, no. See what I'm saying? So, even Michelle Obama said that she was, she didn't like Barack for 10 years. 10 years she did not like Barack Obama 10 years y'all women these days can't go 10 minutes if he even piss you off well 10 minutes you want a divorce you want to leave a relationship she went 10 years cause she, she said once when she had the kids she felt like he changed she said he was always going to these golf meetings, going to these lunch lunch meetings, all this stuff. She didn't realize what he was doing. Now that he did it, now she understands. <laughs> now she understands. You see what I'm saying? It's like y'all motherfuckers, boy, y'all... 
I'm just glad that this law is is on the table. I'm gonna put it like that. I'm still trying to figure out if it's going to go through or what. What you know, where 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 is that right now? But and I thought it was kind of funny. They said the war on women, no fault divorce, <laughs> because they know it's women that's doing this. Because a study came out a few years ago. 70 to 85 percent of divorces are filed by women so yeah they own the something let's go ahead and get to this article i'm not gonna read the whole thing because this article is very long but i just wanted to you know give my take on that stephen crowder the right ring podcast is getting a divorce no, this was not my choice, Crowder told his online audience last week. My then-wife decided she didn't want to be married anymore, and in the state of Texas, that is completely permitted. Crowder emphasizes on the state of Texas make it sound like the Lone Star State is an outliner, but all 50 states and the District of Columbia have no-fault divorce laws on the books. Laws that allow either party to walk away from the unhappy marriage without having to prove abuse, infidelity, or other misconduct in court. That's that's what no fault divorce is. See, back then when grandpa and grandpa, grandpa and grandma was married, yeah, you had to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt. And if you still want to leave, you left with nothing. Everybody left with what they came with. With no, she get this, he get that. No. You left with what you came. <sighs> it was a hard-fought journey to get there. It took more than four decades to end fault-based divorces in America. California was the first state to eliminate it in 1969. New York didn't come around until 2010. Oh, my goodness. Y'all see this shit? This is why women are incentivized to leave marriages because they get everything when they leave. They get everything. And the few women that do have to pay alimony and child support, oh, they, they are singing the same tune that men do. So it's like, wait a minute. It's okay when it's him, but it's not okay when it's her. But y'all women claim that y'all boss chicks, y'all want to make the money and do this and do that. But you don't want the responsibilities that come with that. Hmm. Just saying. Researchers who track the emergence of no-fault divorce laws state by state over the period found that reform led to a dramatic drops in the rates of female suicide and domestic violence as well as decreases in spousal homicide of women. Oh, but they ain't talking about the men that 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 actually, you know what I'm saying, delete themselves. Of course not. Of course not. Because uh when women Divorce men and they get all of everything he can, he have. Yeah, men be so upset. They be so depressed. They'll delete themselves. They'll end their own existence on this earth. So they ain't gonna talk about that. Of course not. It's always one sided. Always. Very rarely do you hear someone discuss the the issues that men go through in a marriage and in a divorce. That's why I like social media. That's one of the few things I like about social media, and it ain't that many, but <laughs> that's one, because now men have a platform to speak on everything that, that they are going through. Mm, mm, mm. The, decrease, the decreases, one researcher explains, were not just because abuse women and men, could more easily divorce their abusers, but also because potential abusers knew knew that they were more likely to be left. Okay. 
they was able to leave before then. You just had to prove that this was what it was. I mean, that makes no sense to me. <sighs> Today, more than two-thirds of all heterosexual divorces in the U.S. are initiated by women. I'm going to read that one more time, just in case y'all didn't hear me. Today, more than two-thirds of all heterosexual divorces in the U.S. are initiated by women. Yeah, that was a study, I want to say, like, three, four years ago. I might be wrong on the time frame, but it's, it was about, done by a law firm, and it says anywhere from 75 to 85% of divorces are initiated by women. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> and you wonder why men don't want to get married. You wonder why a lot of men are going overseas. You wonder why a lot of men are just saying, you know what, fuck it. Some men will wait till they know they're close to being in the ground to leave. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish this. Like I said, I ain't going to read the whole thing because it is a very long article. Republicans across the country are now reconsidering no-fault divorce. There isn't a huge mystery behind the campaign. Like the, uh, like the crusades against abortion and contraceptive, making it more difficult to leave an unhappy marriage is about control. Mm. Crowder's home state could be the first to eliminate it if the Texas uh, GOP gets, gets its way. Last year, the Republican Party of Texas added language to its platform calling for an end of no-fault divorce. We urge the legislator to re 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 resign Excuse me. <laughs> uh, uh, no fault divorce laws to support covenant marriages and to pass legislation extending the period of time in which a divorce may occur to six months after the date of filing for divorce. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit difficult if we scroll back to the top. Like I said, more than two thirds. So damn near all, is what they trying to say, <laughs> of all divorces are filed by women. But then you wonder why, why men don't want to get married no more? What you mean, why? What do you mean? Yeah, that's all I'm going to say is this here. I hope the no-fault divorce thing do go away. Because... It is not fair to that man who worked his whole life to build an empire. Go find him a woman now that he's stable, he can provide for her. And then she can just wake up one day, say, huh, I'm unhappy. I want a divorce. And then take half of everything he worked his whole life for, even though they was on the man for like a year or two. That, that's not fair. It is not. And we have said the only way we're going to see the American family structure get back to what it used to be is they get rid of some of these laws. And they kind of started it with the uh, Roe v. Wade thing. Roe versus Wade, I'll put it like that. They kind of started that when they said uh, they banning, you know what I'm saying, women... De de deleting their pregnancies i put it like that they kind of banned that now they had these plan b's on the damn damn uh, shelves see commercials for them to my i this is just proof that i got this no this is just proof that you are uh, inconsiderate and for what i was told this is what i was told i know i'm on topic right now but i'm gonna go ahead and end this by saying this this is what I was told by one of my by uh, one of my wife's co-workers. Or I just said that all wrong. <laughs> by my wife co-worker. There we go. <laughs> I said that all wrong. Ooh, my wife would kick my ass. <laughs> nah, but this is what I was told. That she had a co-worker that popped plan B's like it ain't nothing. Couldn't have kids when she decided she wanted to have kids. 
And because of she was doing those plan B so much, she ended up having a stroke and passing away. What kills me is this. How come you just can't stop giving it, giving it away like that? How come you just can't be more responsible and not put yourself out there to the world? That's my question. How come you can't be just dedicated to the man that you're with? And that's it. Hey, but oh well, your life, your choice, remember? Well, men have the right to say, my money, my choice. Think about it.